this, right? We spend hours in the gym strengthening our backs, arms, legs, basically all those major muscle groups. But what about the smaller ones like wrists, ankles? They're all just as important. So we're getting some advice from Sumaya Nani, athlete in health and fitness professional. I'm excited about this. I need as much help as I can get. We're starting with our feet. We're starting from the ground up. Luckily, yes. we have some pretty nice toes going on, <laughs> so that works. You know, so the feet are the foundation. You know, when you have flat feet, it can affect your whole gait. It affects the health of your knees. If you can throw your pelvis out, yeah. so strengthening the arches and the ankles is really important. So one, I have this little rubber band uh -huh. that I tied a knot in the middle. Oh, it's cool. kind of hard. These chairs are kind of weird, but yeah. you can kind of go out and like this and in. Interesting. In the outside of the ankles. I didn't and even I, know you could stretch your arches, to be honest. Yeah, it, and it's great for bunions. If you have bunions, oh. it can kind of help open the bunions. Cool. Of course, you've seen the one where they learn to grip. <gasps> oh, that would go. be Here tough. I don't want to try that. This is for you. Oh, thank you. So learn to grip the ball, pick it up. Yeah, good. You got and your first it. try. See, I'm nervous now because I'm on TV. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you grip good. it up. And oh. marbles. So just go back and forth, Who gripping up to strengthen these little muscles here. Oh, neato. Okay. And then if we can move down here, I have a block for you. Okay, thank and you. a block for me. We're so in yoga, yoga, are we? Yeah, a little oh, bit. Oh, no. In yoga, the focus on the feet is so important. So okay. if you, you want to not use your toes, lift your toes, and actually practice just standing Without your toes? Yeah, so you're lifting. Well, that's tough. By lifting the toes, you start to engage the arches. There's three arches in the feet. Really? So we think about this main arch yeah. mostly, but there's a transverse arch and two longitudinal That's arches. That's tough. Yeah. All righty, all righty. And then balancing on that. Okay. And then we go down. There's some stuff that you can do with your, um, so again, might be better to sit, uh -huh. where you go like this, uh -huh. put, the, put the TheraBand, yeah. and then practice pointing Ooh, yeah. and flexing. That's harder than it looks, actually. We call it Barbie toes. This, this is called Barbie toes in yoga. Huh. Are you my, see how you press the ball of the foot out? Oh, yeah. Huh. Barbie toes. All right. Well, I wish I <laughs> had Barbie are, toes. No pain. These are toes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about your wrists? I used to be a cheerleader, so I have horrible wrists. They're not even... I feel okay. like they always hurt. Yeah. So the wrists, there's, you can take dumbbells. Okay. If you take, imagine taking two dumbbells. Okay. And you go up and down, side right. to side. You can make circles, you can make figure eights. Those are really light dumbbells. As you get better and stronger, you go heavier. I think these are good These, fit. A lot of these things I learned, I had to do when I was boxing because oh. to strengthen my hands and forearms. Oh, yeah. Here, you practice these oh. kind of things in and out, twisting it each direction. That kind of works your biceps, forearms, too. Yeah, just in and out, really strong hand grip. All righty. Of course, the ball. We're not juggling, are we? <laughs> <laughs> you could. I know you could. Just pre different. Kind oh, of balls. you just kind of like stress just relievers. Squeeze. Yeah. Cool. You know they make those for kids now. I've seen kids stress relievers kids with the stress balls. What kids do kids have school. to stress about? Everything's what? paid for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else do we have? These things. It's like a webbing. Oh, you, you put kind your of fingers grab. in there and you just work on grabbing. Oh, cool. You have so many little bones. You have more. You have about a quarter of the body's bones are in your hands and feet. So think about all those muscles. we got to get to work in. It is amazing. Okay, really quickly, I want to talk about our necks, though, yes, right? Like, yes, Because, I mean, luckily, I don't have any the sagging Joker. skin. But what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, got to suck, curl it. Hi, Kat. Uh-huh. Hi. You see how tight name? Hi, Kat. Hi. <laughs> so it's called the Joker, and just you can do reps. Oh, you're doing that right? Uh-huh. Just pulling it in. And then you can also take the bands. These bands are awesome for the back of the neck. You can put it on your head and then press your back of your head. So you can, you know, text neck like this. We're always kind of text neck. Oh, so to strengthen the back of the neck to get out of that text neck. A lot of things to Push work back. on. Great ideas, yeah, though. Yeah. All right, we're going to get to working on this. But Alexis, <laughs> we should start practicing. I like. The, I kind of like this thing. That, harder, harder. It's a great look. <laughs> sure. Listen, if it gets rid of this, I'll be doing this all day. <laughs> Do reps in the car. Yeah. Oh, when you're at the stoplight, you have to. People <laughs> think you're real weird then. All right, all right. Thank you.